where can I go make these clips? Very, very simply, uh, whether I do it or like AI does it for me. Well, let's talk about it, shall we? Powder.gg, this is designed for the PC and for mobile. And with specific games, again, the, the, this artificial intelligence, this AI works with specific games. You can record on virtually any platform, whether you're on PC, Xbox, Switch, mobile, it, it, it almost doesn't matter. This is a list of all the, the games that they do support and they will support more, including Valorant. It's very light. It's a light app, especially for you PC players. This is something you will have to run in the background. This isn't something that is being sent to another server, at least, especially for you PC players. You want to download the Windows app because it does it all on prem, all on premises, but it's a very, very light app. It's not going to slow down your frame rate, heat up your computer, any of that. And then, then you can upload it to mobile. And that's where you can really, 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 really play around with it is on mobile. This does not work with console when you're utilizing the Windows app because the Windows app is looking for a game that's running on your computer. And at least for me, not running on my computer, it's running on my console and I'm not even using my computer. I'm switching the inputs on my monitor. So what do you do? Well, that's when you, you use the mobile app. This app is, uh, again, for Android, iOS. I'm on Andro I'm on iOS right now, and it's just in the app store, just powder, powder.gg. When you install powder, you have to connect all of your things, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus button here. I will give it better. And down at the bottom, it's a little hard to see, although if I did this correctly, you, you guys should be able to see it. Oh, you can see it. So there's all, there's PC, those are my Xbox uh, clips. These are Twitch clips. YouTube, Shadowplay. Uh, oh, that's an NVIDIA thing. I didn't, I didn't know. I don't even know what that is. Did I know what that is? I should know what that is, right? Okay. I'm going to go talk to my NVIDIA friends. I should know what that is. And then, of course, PlayStation. So with the Twitch integration, it's going to pull all of your clips. Now, I have way more clips than I, I really should. And that's kind of connected to Uncanny. That we talked about last week automatically creating clips which is awesome but also not because look it's awesome that it creates those clips but sometimes i'm like it wasn't a big deal it wasn't a big deal deal of a kill so what i want to show you though was a particular twitch clip and you you might remember this kind of setup with stream ladder so let's go ahead and look at this twitch clip here where i'm playing star trek fleet commander let's say oh that's cool because i'm showing off the ar functionality within star trek fleet commander and i want to make it a clip designed for tiktok or reels or whatever the case is so we click next you have a little bit of a timeline here you can add things you you can uh manage the length of the overall clip and then resize this is where it gets familiar because with resize you have the ability to zoom in on, of course, your webcam. And then the, the main focus is gonna be right underneath. Or you can flip flop. You can flip flop. Again, this is this is all up to you. However you wanna do this. We click on done. But then you you also have music. You can add music to, from SoundCloud. So we're gonna uh, look up ghost notes here. Music is now embedded into the uh, into the clip. We can zoom in if you want to. You can add a little bit of a shake. And this is again kind of the the TikTokery of it, where you can add the shake to a specific to a specific section. So we can we can add the shake just to the first part, and then after that, it goes away. Or if you wanted, there there are like different overlays, like fire blast. We can add a fire blast right here. 
Because why not? You can get super, super creative all within the app. You don't have to open up Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects. You, you don't have to know how to do any of that. But the, the world is your oyster. I've been doing, I've been utilizing uh, powder for the past week. Ever since I found Uncanny, I thought, well, this is great. Uncanny just has AI that finds those really cool moments in my gameplay, and that's awesome. But I, I want to take it a step farther. I want to find something that just, that makes makes the clips that much more engaging, that much more interesting. How do I do that without having to pull up After Effects and Premiere and, and all that other stuff? Because not everybody has access to those programs. And even for those people that have access to those programs, don't even know how to use half of those functions. I don't know how to use half of those functions. I got to go Google it half of the time. So what do we do? Well, powder.gg might be the it all be all solution. So while it does not make Twitch clips for you, I, I don't, I haven't seen that it makes Twitch clips for you. That's what uncanny can do. It can automatically inject Twitch clips for you in which you can pull after the fact. Theoretically, especially if you're on PC, it can save those highlight moments to the PC app. I have yet to see it save those highlight moments on the mobile app. Go check out Powder. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's pretty awesome. And once again, if you start utilizing all these services and you find like, I'm going to use this particular service, but only this much. I'm going to use this other service, but only this much. If that works for your workflow and just make things click a lot better, you're going to be a lot happier. You're going to be so much happier. So I thank you for taking the time to, uh, to talk to me about powder. Let me know if you have any other questions. Be happy to uh, speak to them on this uh, on this channel here on Twitch. Hi.